So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please put your hands together, come to the reader, what I told the display team! Check one. Right, as you can see, we've set up an agility course. Um, it's not like to make it simple. Track five, please. Away we go. This is Joe with Hudson. Hudson's a black Labrador. As you can see, he is very, 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 very fast. Any breeding dog, give him a round of applause. That's Joe and Hudson. Yeah, the wind is going to be our enemy today, even for our plastic junk stuff. He's running over. Over on the far side there, that's two with Bell. Bell's a golden retriever. Those of you who like the Southport Flower Show, we will be there all four days this year, doing a really big arena act there. Once again, any breeder dog can do agility, it's good fun. Give a round of applause, that's Sue and Bell. On the far side there, that's Lauren with uh, Leroy. Leroy's a long coated German Shepherd. Once again, any breeder dog can do agility. We even had three legged dogs doing it before now. They love it. In a few weeks' time, we're down in the hair. We're kind of looking around the floor. There's Lloyd and Leroy. Great Danes are renowned for their agility. This is Ethan there with Banjo. Ethan came first as the junior handler at the Royal Jetty Show. Having said that, Banjo didn't. <laughs> Get them back on course there. As I said, Great Danes are renowned for doing agility. They are certainly not the most subtle dogs or supple dogs. Oh. <laughs> I blame the handler myself. <laughs> Give a round of applause. Ethan now with Banjo, the big Great Dane. This is Sharon, my team instructors. This is Helga. Helga's the German Shepherd. Once again, any breed of dog, we've had pugs, we've had all sorts of dogs on our team over the years. So Sharon's been involved since 92 and I've been involved since 93, so we've seen the full gambit of dogs. Didn't like them jump very much in that corner. Give a round of applause there. That's Sharon there with Helga. On the standing table, this is Lou with Poppy. Poppy's a yellow lab. We describe Labradors as an eating machine with a leg in each corner. They will sniff out food anywhere. Poppy really has a nose. She will sniff and treat for 50 yards. And so far, she is on course. All those who found one, shit. That nose went down. Do you see that nose? There's a treat somewhere around there. <laughs> Be fine, be, I told you, easy machine with a leg in each corner, that's the Labrador for you. Give me a round of applause, that's Lou and Bobby! On the far side there, this is Sue. Is that, oh, is that Betty? Yes, Betty. Betty is not a Labrador puppy. Betty is a Labrador cross spaniel. Some people say, oh, it's cool to do a, a puppy jumping like that, but she is not a puppy. She is a Labrador cross. As in the final jump, they're giving us all. That's two. On the standing table here, this is June with Sheila. Now, June's had a few medical issues recently, so she doesn't have to run around and get all hot and sweaty. She leaves that to a German Shepherd. Why run while your dog can do all the hard work for you? And she's on total autopilot there. There's some treats down there, even Shane has smelled them. Somebody's pocket's been leaking treats. And liver treats as well. Give a round of applause for June and Shayla. On 
On the starting table there, this is Joe. That's not Walter, is it? Hey, Dexter, of course it's Dexter. They got, she's got two black lads and sometimes we get mixed up. Joe and Dexter, give a round of applause. Let's go on, Dexter! This is Lacey and Wilma. Now, Wilma actually doesn't belong to Lacey, but it does show you that if you have a well-trained dog, it should be able to work for most people. So where we go? Wilma is in the whole Sheltie. Sheltie's make great pets, but also make great agility dogs as well. You see, she's well-trained because she doesn't belong to Lacey. She sees Lacey maybe a couple times a week, but it's never actually uh, been trained by Lacey. Now with a big A frame there. The total jump and the final jump. Give a round of applause for Lacey and Wilma. This is Kate and Flip. Flip's coming up to seven years of age, so she's no youngster. Long coated black and white border collie. One of our four dogs. Flip's my collie and Kate's my wife. Nice and steady, you haven't got any speed machine. And the last jump, get around the ball, four, take out, flip! Once again, this is Ethan, who won first place at the Royal Chester Show for Young Handler. Once again, this is Ethan Grand or Nan's dog, I think. This is Charlie the Chalky. He is a character. He is a cutie. And up that big eight frame, this line mounts up with last one, come on Charlie, if you go, yeah, go on the floor, he's a nice Charlie! This is Laurel Alice, probably our new team member, probably one of her first events ever she's done in the arena. Let me just stop. Oh. Right, I'll just give you a bit of information about this next pairing. Luna. Luna is totally deaf. How do you teach a deaf dog? Patience. A lot of patience. Obviously Luna can't hear the commands that Linda's giving her. She picks up on the hand signal and also the vibration through clapping. So if you have a deaf dog, you can train them. Great days are great dogs, but they're hard work, even harder when they're deaf. Thank you, Maestro. Are you seeing Liz clapping? She's picking up on the vibration. Luna will pick up on the vibes and learn very well what's required of her. And the last one, give her a big round of applause. That's me. On the far side, this is Hector with Buddy. Buddy is a rescue dog. The first season on the team with Hector and Buddy. Shows you you can rescue your dog and give it a big leaf of life. <laughs> because Buddy didn't do anything before. Buddy was just a lap dog. And you see he's going to enjoy doing agility. And the last jump. Oh, no, no, no. Go on, go, go, go. Yeah, give a round of applause. Hector and Buddy. And on the far side, this is Scott Leo, a young black man, year of age. Being a young dog, we put the jump height slightly lower to make sure that there's no uh, injury on those young men. Here are more there, that's Scott and Leo. Jump height as low as possible. Over the years we have influxes, sometimes we have a load of German Shepherds, sometimes we have lots of border collies, crossbreeds. This year we seem to have lots of black labs, this is the way it goes. 
Very, very focused as I walk up. Give a round of applause. That's all I want. Section, hopefully, they'll all behave themselves. However, I said in my opening uh, segments, we did lose over two years of basic training. So hopefully uh, our handlers and the dogs will remember what they are supposed to do. And you see the all breeds of dogs over there, you got Heinz 57, Black Labs, Labradors, German Shepherds, Border Collies, and of course Great Danes. There's one, there's two of them. The uh, big white and black one is a puppy, that's Giuseppe. In the wind, uh, hopefully the dogs can hear the commands. If not, they can see the hand signals required to request what the command will be. As I said, we had two years of basically no training when some of the curfews were lifted. We had to train indoors with masks on confined spaces it was very difficult indeed so it's nice to be back out in the, the real world training in fields and obviously trying to remember what we forgot all those years ago people don't think that wind will affect dogs it certainly does they've got a very very sensitive hearing and very very sensitive smell so obviously things wafting on the wind will blow a pick up very quickly indeed We're based at a place called the Porphy Retreat in High Town, just outside Formby. Uh, quite often we get new puppy owners or rescue dog owners. Um, they may not be happy with the name that their dog has, or they haven't thought about a name to give their new dog or their new puppy. Those of you who are dog owners would know only too well, the most popular name for a dog in the world. Is it Chef? Is it Rover? Is it Lassie? Or is it Ben? No, of course, the most popular name for a dog in the world is... Oi! Oi, come here. Oi, sit. Use oi for your in-laws. Use oi for your outlaws. Use oi for your children. Use your dog name. You probably gave it to him or her, and they will know you are talking to them and not another member of the pack. Because the canine looks at the family unit as a pack. You have your alphas, your mums, your dads, uncles, aunts, grandmas, granddads, at the top of the heap. Children in the middle, and right at the bottom you will have the canine. And even though it sounds bad, that's where they should stay, at the bottom of the pecking order. It's only when they think they can go up the ladder, problems happen. This is called a send away, we we'll hope all the dogs will go to bed. Some will, some won't. Giuseppe needs a big, big, uh, he needs a, Giuseppe needs a quilt. Doesn't need a quilt, he needs a quilt. Now all these send away mats blew away earlier, so hopefully we can still keep them on the ground. And there's Buddy, he's been away on holiday, so he's missed a few weeks training. He's, he's sniffing out a treat. Somebody's got a hole in their pocket for this. And of course, if you can teach your dogs all the tricks of the trick. Giuseppe, what are you doing? He's a happy puppy. Don't forget, he is a puppy. He's not full grown, he is not mature. He is a puppy dog. He's a very, very big puppy dog. And of course, once you get control of your dog, you can teach them all the tricks of the trade, speaking on command and rolling over. Not all dogs will roll over, and of course, if the ground is wet, you will not get your dog to roll over. And that's called a nice reverse finish. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to give our beating section a round of applause. Probably 8 out of 10. Yes, we haven't got them too much. But a lot of our dogs literally had two years of doing nothing at all.
Right, hard neck. Girls on the side and the nice straight line. And boys on this side and the nice straight line as well. Right, we'll do the girls first. Come on, come up here. Come on. One at a time. One, one. Right, you Hello. <laughs> right, we'll try that one again. Come over here, young lady. Come on, sweetheart. Come here. Come, 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 come. Big kick. Big kick. No, put the ball down. Give it a big kick. Do you like football? Yeah. Right, last, last chance. Helga loves children, but she can't eat a whole lot. Give her a round of applause, sweetheart. Go back to your mum, dad. Go, go out wherever you come from. Hello, sweetheart. Come up this way. Come on. Over here. Go to see that young lady. Helga will not hurt you. She will not bite you. Pick it. Pick it. Oh, let's give her another go. We'll give her another go. She won't hurt you, she won't bite you. She just wants to stop that football. Way there, Helga. Give it a big kick, big kick. Oh, I'm lucky, give her out of applause. Come back to your mom, dad, applause, wherever you came from. Come on, sweetheart, come on, over here, over here. Right, when Sharon puts the football down, give it a big kick, big kick. Oh, that was a bit sad, wasn't it? Would you like another go? Not really, no, okay, she did not really. Give her, just, just wants a bag of sweets. Just wants a bag of sweets. Come on, come on, sweetheart. She won't hurt you, she won't bite you. As soon as you put the football down, give it a big kick. Oh, I'm lucky, never mind, that's the best kick ever. Give her a round of applause. Get a bag of sweets over there for me then. Come on, matey. Come on. Come over here. Got no shoes on, Mum, Dad. No shoes on. What's he kicking anyway? Quick, quick. Oh, oh what a good shot! I'm lucky. Give round of applause. That's the best one we've had all day. Get back to Sweeties over there. Go back to your Mum and Dad. Where we come over there. Okay, who's next? Quickly, come on. Go pick your nose. Come on. <laughs> Ready? Give it a big kick. Score a goal. Oh, unlucky, never mind, oh, very, very close indeed. Elga is still undefeated today. He's got serious trainers on. <laughs> Now what's going to happen is we're going to line up some of our agility dogs and see whether they can jump clear through the dogs. Now you see they'll sit very, very stay. They'll be very, very quiet. They won't move. They, they ignore the dogs jumping through them. The hoops on the back. Looks very simple, but dogs really don't like other dogs around their nether regions. Jumping over them is a dominance thing. Okay, Maestro, track five, please. And away we go. This is Sue with Bell. Bell, the golden retriever. There you go. 
there's Walter and Dexter and Nies and Neo and Little Buddy. And here comes Huxman. There goes Little Wilma, the German Shepherd. There goes Alice. Right now, the dogs are jumping a little bit. Where are you going, Charlie? And we've got the German Shepherd stood up there. See where the bell can get to the height. Go on, bell, way go. There's one, there's two. There's Dexter. Now, I don't know where the body can get to that height. Don't get the dog. dog. He's still there, we're on. Nobody possibly can treat. He's not playing. Go, go, go. There goes little Wilma. Did you ever say, Bill D? Where are you going, Wilma? That is very late, just showing off. That's better, thank you. There goes Piggy, the Merrill Border of Collie. There goes Charlie, where are you going, Charlie? Charlie's in the mind of the time. Oh! God, thank you, guys, have another go. Next, let him have another go. Where are you going, Charlie? Charlie! Here comes Huxley, there's one. Whoa! No, Charlie's had enough. Charlie's had enough. Give a round of applause. Oh, who's the dog? Who's the dog? Oh, who's the doofus? Oh, 
Uh, excuse me. Uh, excuse me. Track 19, please. You know why bad people wear balaclavas? Because of the ugly. <laughs> Send the wife. I mean, the dog. They sent you are pretty in red. Put the handbag down and give yourself up before you drop the handbag. Run away. Don't run away. Don't wind the dog up. Oh. <laughs> That would teach you not to rob handbags. A round of applause there for Sharon. And, <laughs> excuse me, have we got a medical team on board? Wilma, go on Wilma. Of course we got our first aid up. No, Wilma, that way. No, it's not here. No, not. No, no, not a bad guy. No, get him off. It's not. No, no, get off. The dog's been hurt. The dog's pulled a muscle. Poor Helga. Oh, poor Helga. Oh. Give her a round of applause for Sharon and Helga. And don't forget, she was a goalkeeping dog this morning. She's put on a bit of weight during lockdown. I'll say where you are, sunshine. Say exactly where you are. Ladies and boys, girls, once again, get round of applause for Sharon and Helga. <laughs> Young gentlemen, there. That's Ethan. Ethan won first place at the Royal Justice Show recently for best young handler. That is Giuseppe. Giuseppe is a puppy. That great day is not fully grown, it is a puppy. Thank you very much for a great audience. Giuseppe, Helga, and the rest of them as well. And our white great dame there, Luna, who is totally, totally deaf. Once again, as they come around the rear, thank you for being a great audience. We'll see you again soon. Once again, round of applause for the West Side Daughters Play Team. Goodbye now, Prescott.